I remember once uh, where I lived in Cameroon that we also ran a hospital, the mission ran a hospital. And you know, I would go in there every day and just see the patients and so on. And I remember coming across a, a little girl, she would have been about maybe nine or ten, her name was Veronica. Uh, and I, I've seen people suffer in my life and the suffering that she endured, I think, was one of the worst sufferings I, I could ever have imagined. Um, and also we couldn't give her medicine because there were no medicines, because there was a whole political unrest taking place at the time. So, you know, shipments of medicines weren't coming into the ports uh, and so therefore there was, there was no medicine for, for this little girl and it was, it was really dreadful. And just to be with her, the only thing that kind of gave her comfort was when I would sit and pray. And I would hold her hand and I would pray with her. She had been baptised. I had actually baptised her probably about maybe a year or two beforehand. So I knew her. And, and so that was the only thing that gave her comfort, was just sitting and praying. And then she died. And she was buried very quickly, uh, with, you know, the next day. And there is a tradition uh, in many parts of Africa and also where I was living that a, a year after a person has died, you have what's called the death celebration. So that you celebrate the end of the mourning period, but also you kind of commemorate this person and recognise them that they are now with the ancestors and they're at peace. And usually that involves lots of drink, lots of celebrations and, and kind of, you know, marking the grave and blessing the grave and so on. And it struck me that uh, maybe I should do that for this little girl because she was an example of faith to me in her suffering. So I remember going up and kind of walking up the hills and up to the, the parents' compound and I asked the father, I said, you know, I, I've come to just say a prayer and I, I also brought some beer just to kind of celebrate this little girl's life. And because she was so young and had died so young, kind of traditionally, you wouldn't have a death celebration for someone that young. Because they weren't maybe considered very important. Um, and, and so it was a bit of a surprise to the girl's, Veronica's father, that I had appeared uh, and said, you know, I want to celebrate her death. And so he was kind of quite taken aback. And I said, where is she buried? And we went out into the coffee plantation. And somewhere in the middle of the coffee plantation, he said, I think she's buried here. There was nothing marking her grave. And so I put a stone and I said a prayer and then we went back and we, we drank a beer uh, and that was it. But it was just a small, I thought, you know, her, her life was not meaningless. And that small gesture was really just a way to kind of say, look, every person is important, even a little girl who's nine, who didn't achieve maybe great things in her life. Um, and yeah, so that was a very kind of, I think, faith-filled sort of experience I had.